I'm going to show you a little trick today which could uh, extend the life of your engine. So I'm changing the oil and fuel filter on my truck today. Brand new filter. You wouldn't think that's going to contaminate your engine, would you? If you take a look at those threads there, quite often you'll see um, some fine bits of metal from the thread cutting process. So you want to get any little traces of metal out before you put that in your engine. So I'm going to put a, a rag in here and just check to see if there are any fragments in there. I can feel some rough edges there, so I think potentially there could be some. Try and get right in behind the thread there. Yep, there we go. There's some little bits there. So if I'd put that filter straight in, they are going to be floating around in the engine. So you don't want that. So I'll give that a quick blast with the uh, air compressor, just in case there's any more in there uh, floating around. And then that'll be good to go on. It's the same with fuel filters, give them a quick check before you put them in because um, that's the clean side of your filter and uh, that's going to pump straight through your fuel pump and possibly create some wear and um, create some leaks and cut seals or whatever, um, clog up injectors. So that's just something to be aware of uh, next time you're doing your filters. I'm not going to name brands because I've seen this on most brand filters I've used. Um, they pretty much all have swarf in the thread so yeah I don't know why they don't clean it it seems like a 10 second job um, that could save you a lot of hassle later on so yeah just a quick tip for uh, those of you who didn't know if you found this interesting or useful don't forget to subscribe and leave a like cheers guys catch you later